Now it may well be the case that with polynomial division you're not too happy with using the long division method. There is another method, an alternative one, that you could use to set up your work and some students find it easier, some students don't particularly like it and prefer the normal polynomial division way. Um, so I'm going to put a video here explaining it just so you can see how it works. It can be quite useful. So if you're going to divide x cubed plus 3x squared minus 5x minus 3 by x plus 2, you start off by putting the x plus 2 to one side in a table. Okay, and this is a big, it's like a big multiplication table. Now, what we want is to get x cubed. Now, there's only one way that I can get x times something to be x cubed, and that would be x squared. So, if x squared times x is x cubed, then I'm also going to have x squared times 2, which will make 2x squared. Now, the only thing is that I don't have 2x squared here, I have 3x squared. So, I'm going to need another x squared. So, to get x squared, I must have x times x to get that x squared. And that x must then multiply with the 2, so I get 2x. Now, I don't have 2x, I have minus 5x. So, 2x take away 7x will combine to make the minus 5x. So, to get that minus 7x, I've got x times, well, minus 7. Minus 7 times 2 is minus 14. Okay? When actually, I want minus 3. So, I would have to put here that to get minus 3, I'm going to need a plus 11. And that is my remainder. So that allows me to then go, well, okay, well, f of x is x plus 2 times x squared plus x minus 7 plus that remainder of 11. So this is an alternative method that allows you to do polynomial division but with a grid. And as I said, some people prefer this method, uh, other people prefer the, more, the long division method. It's really up to you what you use.